Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video, as promised, is going to be on the Marvel's Defenders showing on Netflix. So this video is actually going to be five things I loved about the show. So I'm not going to talk much in this intro. My name is Ifwa. Subscribe to my channel. And let's do the video. So the first thing I actually liked about the show was that it was just eight episodes. So there have been four other Marvel shows before this Defender. So there's been Daredevil, there's been Jessica Jones, there's been Luke Cage, and then Iron Fist. And each of these shows had 13 episodes per season. But then this this show, the Marvel's Defenders, is just eight episodes. And I think it was the wisest decision they ever made. I mean, whoever decided for it to be eight episodes, you are doing amazing. Because for 13 episodes, for some of the shows, when it got to around the eighth and ninth episode, it felt like they were like they were filling out the story so their stories were kind of spinning out a little bit and was dragging and was so if we're watching like especially like Luke Cage and the second season of Daredevil if you watched it around that time it felt like ugh, they should just get to the end so I like that it was just eight episodes and even when they were done I was like oh they're done there's no like there isn't more and I think that's I think I think moving forward they should make all the rest of the seasons eight episodes because I think eight episodes make everything packed so even though the action is packed a lot the sequences are packed we don't feel like we are moving to the end so that's one of the things i liked about it because 13 episodes for 58 minutes is too long but 58 minutes eight episodes to the end that i can agree with that's the first i loved about it that it was eight episodes so by the time i was, I was like oh mm. moving on to other shows the second thing i loved about the show it should actually be like the first thing i loved about the show was the fact that you didn't have to watch any of the previous four shows to be able to actually get it, no, apart from Iron Fist. And which is really sad, the fact that you had to watch the least interesting show to watch this show. Iron Fist was like a drag to get through. I don't know. Like, it's not like I don't know. I do know. Iron Fist was boring. It was, the fight scenes were, ugh. Danny Rand was, ugh. Everything about Iron Fist was just horrible. Like, I was just watching Iron Fist just to get through to the end. But, and, it's, and it asks me that the fact that this show is based so much on, like, some of the, like, most of the stuff from Iron Fist, like, the hand, like, you know, the Madame, okay, Madame Gal runs through, but then, like, most of, like, the backstory for Marvel's Defenders is in Iron Fist. So that's the only thing I didn't like about it. But I love the fact that you, you don't have to watch any of the four shows and you can still get into marvel's defenders and still fall in love with the show because the show is really great the third thing i loved about it was the villain like that is that has been my biggest pet peeve with marvel i always feel like marvel villains are very boring because if you watch their villains who like i'm not a comic person like i'm not a comic book person i just recently got into dc marvel but so far marvel their villains feel wishy-washy like they feel very blunt meanwhile when you watch dc like if you watch any of them the joker if you watch harley queen if you watch uh death shots death and if you watch death stroke if you watch uh the black arch something i keep on forgetting the names but my point is marvel villains are very bored like they don't they don't do anything to me for me personally but this villain the hand i actually like them so much and i like uh and i like the main woman in it like she was very uh, she was a very unassuming person but to find that she's actually the brain behind something very evil was really great so that's one thing i love i loved about the show the fact that the villain wasn't wishy-washy the villains like the way people to contend with even though some of them were so easy to kill how how could how are the villains easy to kill when they're supposed to be the, like these badass people it's a question for the gods we have to talk about it but apart from that i think the villains like were very formidable i like the i like electra coming at the end and being like this villain even though she was supposed to be like the good person but then when she was out like arisen right when she was arisen she became this bad person even though she gained consciousness she still decided to be evil that's the kind of evil i want people that know that they are evil for being evil sake so i really like the villain so well was mwah. the next thing i loved about it was that the humor was well placed like we all know marvel shows are not as dark as dc i mean the new dc shows are too dark but i like the fact that there, there was humor like even when something was even when the situation was quite serious they still found ways 
to bring in the humor like when daredevil wore his shoes the first time and then we're like wait what's on his head and it are they horns are they you know all those like little jokes and inside humor and inside jokes are what makes marvel movies and even marvel shows a delight to watch and this was done in this show and for that i really really loved it like the humor didn't feel misplaced like there wasn't a time when the humor felt eh. no it wasn't forced and the fact that they didn't have forced humor i get i took my hat off to them because they really did well with that so that's the fourth thing i loved about the show the humor the humor was amazing it was great and what more could we the ask? last thing i loved about the show was the fight scenes like if right from the very first fight scene when they went to the midland circle to the end none of the fight scenes felt over the top because if you remember iron fist i remember iron fist so well because if you remember iron fist how the fight scenes felt blunt like it felt very wait is this the iron fist like is this danny ran and i actually found out that they took less than three months to shoot iron fist which explains all the horrible instances in iron fist but for defenders all the fight scenes were really well choreographed and even when like the four of them were fighting together like each person had their moment and that's what i like about like group fight scenes the fact that you fight as a group but then we get to see every individual's you know output in the fight it was like the season five finale of arrow when they had this huge fight scene and then the algo sisters were fighting when arrow was fighting with prometheus when all these you know people these elements so that's what i liked about the marvel defenders the fact that the fight scene had the big element and then the little element so you could say oh they're fighting oh look at jessica jones oh look at daredevil oh look cage so that's what i liked about it so yeah the fact that the fight scenes were very well choreographed and believable not iron fist believable believable so then i'm done these are like the five things i actually loved about the marvel defenders if you haven't seen marvel defenders please go and watch it what are you waiting for it's out on netflix it's been out for almost a month so please watch it and you don't have to bother about the rest of the shows watch it anyways and i'm really excited about the punisher which like they shot a short teaser after the season finale i'm really looking forward to the show and if it's as good as reports are saying i'd really get into it so then i'm done with this video and i have a little announcement to make moving forward i think starting from monday there are going to be new shows right and i announced it on my snapchat and on my instagram so there are going to be new shows so what i'm going to be doing is i'll be recording five minutes videos of each new show so if there's a new show you want me to watch i'll watch and then give my five minutes review so we are going to do a yay or nay so it will be a yay watch it or nay don't like don't bother so i'm going to do and i'm even going to compare some series that look similar and whether or not you should get into it or not so i'm talking to, at this point i'm just talking too much so my name is ifwa watch my other videos subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video which might be a yay or nay video so i'm going to start a playlist a yay or nay playlist so yay for a new show nay for a new show and we'll get into it so i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you for supporting my dream i'll see you next time